Hi, my name's Keegan. Um, I started getting chronic pain back about six or seven years ago, back in 2015. And I didn't really think much of it at first, um, but it continued to get worse and worse. And about five or six years into it, I started uh, going back to the doctor. They had diagnosed me with fibromyalgia before, but I didn't really know what it was or think it was a real thing. But I got feeling bad enough and in enough pain that I had to take it seriously. And it had a really big effect on my physical body as well as my mental health. Um, it was affecting every area of my life, uh, being a father, uh, being a husband, and just enjoying life at all. Um, so I went the medical route and I got diagnosed and I asked my doctor, you know, what, what can we do about this? And they said, you know, there's really, really nothing that you can do. And they gave me some medication options, but they had some pretty gnarly side effects. And so I didn't really want to go down that route. Um, I tried a couple of therapeutic things that I felt like the trade-off for the benefit that they made and what they cost me wasn't really worth it. And so I found myself in a, in a pretty hopeless, um, discouraged and pain-filled, frustrated place after about six or so years of dealing with this. And I had done all the internet searches and everywhere pretty much said the same thing. And also about 90% of what I found online was geared towards women, um, which was frustrating as well um, since I'm a guy. Um, so yeah, so I, one day I remember I was uh, normally searching through Google and I jumped on YouTube instead. And I started doing searches for guys with fibromyalgia or men with fibromyalgia. And uh, one of the fibro guy videos popped up and it was uh, Adam interviewing a couple other guys who had recovered from fibromyalgia. Like I remember completely recovered. Yeah, I think it was uh, Johnny and another guy. Um, and I listened to the whole thing and we had some similarities. Obviously the details were different, but it just struck me uh, so deeply that these two guys had been as bad as I was and that they had recovered. And I felt a little glimmer of hope inside of me. And I didn't want to get too much hope because I didn't want to be let down. But I, I think I listened to every podcast they had, almost every video they had. And then I reached out and um, got, an, got an interview. And thankfully, I'm so grateful that they uh, accepted me into the program. I think one of my favorite things about the program so far has been the accountability and the encouragement through the difficult times in the program. Um, there's been a lot of progress, but for me personally, there's been some challenges. And the relationship that I have with Johnny uh, is one of encouragement and accountability. And it keeps me moving forward. And there's been times where I felt like I, I was questioning whether or not I could keep moving forward. And Johnny was able to help me through that. I could do almost nothing before I started the program. Um, well, I, I could do things, but I would pay dearly for it. So I remember when I first started the program, I was a new dad. And I remember not being able to hold my tiny, tiny little baby girl who weighed, you know, I don't know, seven or eight pounds, uh, and, and shush her to sleep, uh, without just being racked with pain for, for days, um, which was really difficult. Um, I couldn't ride my mountain bike. I couldn't go for hikes with my family. Um, all of the physical things, uh, I was very limited, um, to what I could do mentally. I could barely make it through a day with the way that I was thinking about myself and the world. Um, I was extremely discouraged, you know, probably even depressed, was in a really debilitated place. So I, I couldn't really do much of anything. Now I can hold my kids. They're, they're older now um, and they weigh even more and I can hold them. I can hike with them. I just did a couple of weeks ago, a few mile hike with one of my daughters on my back. Um, after a you know, three hour drive up and then I hiked and then we did a three hour drive home, which I would have been wrecked for weeks if I had done that before. I'm able to be grateful 
I'm able to be content and I'm, I'm thankful. I'm able to feel and experience uh, love again and just uh, an appreciation for the people in my life and all that I've been blessed with, which that was all there before, but I felt like I was so in such a rough place that I just, I couldn't feel any of the good feelings associated with those things before because my pain and everything was in the way of that. And now I can feel those things again. 